we're gonna talk about the three pros and three cons of car hauling. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the Gen Z channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we're leaving home, we spent the night at home, and this is us right here. I am loaded up with a bunch of Volkswagens, I got five electric ones, and I got three regular gasoline ones. I'm about to go park my car, hop in the truck, and today we're heading out to Cincinnati, Ohio. We have four drops in Cincinnati. And then after that, we're probably gonna go load up somewhere in Michigan. So hop along for the video, because today we're gonna be talking about three pros and three cons about car hauling. This morning, the Tesla is all frozen up. It was a foggy morning and it's under 30 degrees outside, so everything is freezing over. Let's park this car over here on the side, hop on into the truck, and let's get out of here. So we just pulled in here, exit 171 off of I-75. I gotta grab some fuel. All right, so the fuel lines are in. Just gotta wait for it to fill up. It's too cold outside to wait. It's like 35 degrees outside and the wind just makes it even colder. So yeah, we gotta get this fuel. And then we're gonna be 20 minutes out from our first drop. We gotta do four drops in Cincinnati, Ohio. And then we're possibly gonna be going to Louisville after that to load up something. But we'll see, I'm not sure yet. We're gonna see once I get unloaded. Gotten $694 worth of diesel. Just gotta grab some depth and we'll be on our way. Alrighty, so we grabbed our diesel. We have full tanks. And I gotta get going because we're on a tight schedule today. So let's buckle right in and let's get going. So this dealership told me to park on the road because they don't want me to pull in. They don't have enough space, they said. So we're here at our first drop. I just gotta drop one car off here. We're in Florence, Kentucky, and they got a lot of snow here on the side. It must have been snowing here. Duh. I got that one car dropped here. We are only an hour and a half north of Lexington, and Lexington doesn't have any snow at all. Just an hour and a half north and there's so much more snow. Hey, so we're here at the second drop. I only gotta drop two cars off here. And then we're gonna head to our third drop. I got two cars dropped off. They were at the bottom here in the trailer. Here's the first one, here's the second one. I'm waiting for someone to come check them in. And then we're gonna be done here. We're gonna head to our third drop. Third drop, we're here. Third drop, we're done. We're buried in snow. We're at our last drop in Cincinnati. We're at the auto mall here in Cincinnati. I got four cars to take off out of here and we're gonna be done with these Volkswagens. So while I was at it, I went and built a snowman on the road. You know what? Scratch that little snowman. We're gonna build a way bigger one as soon as I'm done unloading here.
I know how funny this must look. I'm a grown man building a snowman next to my truck and parked in the middle of the road. Sometimes as truck drivers, we get bored out here, so we gotta entertain ourselves somehow. And I enjoyed building that snowman. I felt like a little child that hasn't played in snow for a while. This is my first snow that I've seen that's been sticky like this. And it's already the end of January. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but I hope somebody has fun hitting that snowman down with their car. But it is already 50 degrees out here, so who knows if it'll last too long because the snow is already melting. But anyways, we're done with our last drop. We finally got these four drops done. It felt like it took forever. Now it's time to head to Louisville. I think we got like an hour and a half drive to get there. And we're gonna be loading up something there going to Michigan. So as I'm driving there, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the three pros and the three cons of car hauling. I was telling you guys earlier that I got an interesting type of load. My dispatch just called me as I was headed to the pickup from Cincinnati to Louisville. And they're like, you're gonna have to wait till 6 p.m. because the car won't be ready till then. And it's showing me that I'm gonna be there at 3 p.m. So I got three hours of spare. And it's a really good paying load and it's only one car. I'm, I'm considering myself lucky to be able to take this type of load. So I got three hours to spare and I can't come to that location before six. So I have to stop somewhere for three hours before then. So I'm gonna pull off right now. I found an olive garden. I'm gonna go get myself some lunch, sit down, have a nice meal, and then I'm gonna keep heading there. Let's get to the part that you all been waiting for. So we're gonna talk about the three pros and three cons of car hauling. We're gonna get the three cons out of the way first because the pros outweigh the cons. Coming in a number one con, as any car hauler would agree with me, we would all say that the number one con of car hauling is working in different weather conditions. So you gotta work when it's hot, you gotta work when it's cold, when it's snowing, when it's raining, when it's sleeting, when it's day or when it's night. You don't, you don't get to choose when you're gonna load or unload. You can choose, but if you choose to wait for the rain to stop and you've sat for three, four hours and it's still raining, then you just lost a bunch of time. You lose money from your paycheck, your week is delayed, your loads are delayed. So the weather is the worst. You gotta dress warm, you gotta stay warm, and you gotta work through any type of weather. The second con for me would be the truck and trailer setup. So being a car hauler, a car hauler sits pretty low to the ground. And as you know, car haulers deliver mostly to dealerships. And when we're pulling into dealership, there's lots of curbs, it's tight. You gotta maneuver a 80 foot vehicle in between all these curbs and cars. And you can scrape a curb if you're not careful. We do have a trailer lift that picks up the trailer four to five inches, but sometimes it's still not enough. Another reason why it's a con is because when you come to a truck stop and you're backing up into a parking spot, and most truck stops have a curb in the back of the parking spot. So when you're pulling in there, sometimes they make those curbs so tall that your trailer is too low to clear the curb and you're already a lot longer than all the other trucks around you, but if you can't clear your trailer over the curb, you're gonna be sticking out a whole 20, 25 feet in front of everyone else, which is a con. Also, there's issues with truckers who get stuck on railroads. Sometimes the railroads are too tall and the trailers are too low. And even with trailer lifts, sometimes the railroad tracks are too tall and truckers get stuck and you might have all seen those videos where the train just demolishes the trailer and all the cars go flying everywhere. So driving your car hauler setup, you gotta be cautious, you gotta be careful and that's why I consider it being a con because it's not a comfortable truck and trailer to work with. Coming in on number three, the third con of car hauling. Lots of people will think this is a con, but for me, it's somewhat of a pro, but I'm just going off of what all the truckers think. And the third con is loading and unloading your truck, which is a risk because you're taking this risk of loading a new car on your truck and trailer without damaging it, without hitting any tree branches, without putting it too close to another car or lowering your racks too low and then the car jumps and it hits the top rack it damages the roof so loading or unloading and the risk of loading and unloading 
So in a regular truck, you just open your doors, back up to a door, they load you up, you close your doors, and you go. You don't touch the freight. But in a car hauler, you got to get out and you got to think of how to load each and every one of the cars that you got on your load. You have to know on what position you can fit this car so that you clear height, so that you don't hit no bridges or branches. You got to break a sweat once in a while, especially when it's hot outside, to load and unload these cars yourself. So you are taking your risk on yourself when you're loading and unloading, but if you're careful and if you're committed, you're going to get so used to it that you can be damage free for multiple months or years. So those are the three cons that I could think of, which wasn't that bad at all. So now let's jump into the pros of car hauling and why lots of us do car hauling instead of other trucking jobs. The number one pro that any car hauler will tell you is the pay. A car hauling pay is more than any other trucker out here besides oversized loads. So I just pulled into the restaurant that I'm going to be eating at. But before I go and eat, I'm going to finish and tell you what the three pros of car hauling are. So coming in at the first pro is pay. Car hauling pay is the best pay that you can get out there. Whether you're an owner up or a driver, it pays the best. But the reason it pays the best is because you are taking a bigger risk of loading cars that have to get from point A to point B in the same condition that you pick them up at. And you have to load these cars yourself, so that is why it pays more than other trucking jobs. You have a bigger responsibility, but the pay outweighs the responsibility as long as you can do it correctly. Coming in at number two pro, coming in as a number two pro is health. As a car hauler, you're typically walking around a lot more. You're moving around, you're loading, you're unloading. So you're breaking a sweat, you're staying healthy. Most truck drivers, they're sitting behind the wheel all day and all they do is just open the back door and close the back door. And the rest of the time they're just sitting. But as a car hauler, you gotta walk around, you gotta go get all your cars. And a lot of times you pull up to a yard and your cars are like a mile that way, a mi half a mile that way. They're all spread out because most of these yards that we pick up from are huge and you got to do a treasure hunt for each one of your cars. So you stay healthy by being it. So most car haulers are typically more healthy than other truckers out there. It also depends on what you eat. Me personally as a car hauler, I try to eat healthier. My wife meal preps for me and I wouldn't say that I'm overweight. And coming in at number three is the last pro of car hauling. And that was a con that I mentioned earlier. So it is loading and unloading. For somebody, it could be a con. And for somebody, it could be a pro. The reason why loading and unloading yourself is a pro for me is because I work at my own pace. I'm able to pull up, unload as quick as I can, and leave. Lots of times in regular trucking industry, you have an appointment time. Sometimes you have to wait two, three, four hours or even the next day as a regular trucker to get your truck unloaded because you have a set appointment time. But with car hauling, it's different. You load up at your own pace as quick as you can load up and you unload at your own pace as quick as you can unload. Most dealerships allow you to do after hour drops. So if you load up and you pull up to your dealership after 6 or 7 p.m., that's fine. They allow you to drop the cars off. You got to make sure that they allow it, but most of them allow it. You drop your cars off and you throw the keys in the key drop box. If you're making it to your delivery at seven in a regular truck, but they close at six, you got to wait till the next day to get unloaded. So this is why it's a pro in car hauling to be able to load and unload yourself. Also because I can load up a truck within an hour and a half and unload a truck within 30 minutes. Some truckers take a little more. There's some that are crazy fast and are way faster than that. Sometimes they can unload you quick in a regular truck, but sometimes you're waiting three up to five hours just to get loaded or same story as you're getting unloaded. There might be a couple trucks in front of you or your appointment isn't for another three hours. That's why it's a pro to be able to load and unload yourself as a car hauler. So those are the three pros and three cons of car hauling. If you're in this business and you know any more pros or cons about this business, just leave it down in the comments below. I'm going to read over them. Maybe I'll talk more about it in another video. But that is the end of the pros and cons. I'm about to go get myself a meal. I'm going to eat and then we're going to keep going to Louisville, Kentucky. It's one car. It's a Ford Escape and it's going up to Michigan. 
We got a six hour drive there. So I'm about to go eat and I'll catch you guys later.